coming to you live from the coast in a tropical storm because this is my luck. Um, I am Dollar Dr. Jennifer and I am here with a thrift haul for you on Monday Holla. So, um, on my way to the coast, I stopped by the Goodwill Outlet in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, and I met a lovely fan named Janet. Hey, Janet. Um, we chatted for a bit uh, at the bins. She came up to me and recognized me. So that was kind of funny and fun. So uh, I hope she found some good stuff that day for her friend. Anyway, um, yeah, so Elsa is uh, basically coming here today and it's already been raining all day. I work one to six, so uh, hopefully someone shows up for their appointments. I probably wouldn't if there was a tropical storm, but you know, whatever. So I'm going to do this haul for you guys and then, um, head to work. <laughs> this is actually a thrifted scrub top. I got it a while back. It's one of my favorites. So let's see what I found this day in Greensboro. Um, I spent $30, I think. Um, I don't have my receipt with me at this moment. Um, <clears throat> so as per usual at the end, I will give you my average cost of goods when I figure it out. <laughs> but I found some really cute stuff. I got a lot more stuff than I meant to, but some of it's going to be, I think, good stuff. So, um, just going to get started and we're going to start off with a bang with this really cute satin purse and there's a hair. And it's beaded and it's really gorgeous and it is if I can get it out Jessica McClintock I found this literally as I was walking to check out and it is a hundred percent satin and it's in really good condition so that is why I grabbed it. Really pretty. And the beadwork is amazing. So we'll see how that does. <clears throat> and then I found new with tags. I think it's called Cacique. It's a no-show hipster, size 22, 24. And um, it's just floral underwears. <laughs> So, and then I found this really cute hat. I have problems. I love these hats. This is Antonio Milani, one size. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Oops. But it's really cute. It has this big bow on the front. And um, it's obviously it's in very very good condition, so that's why I grabbed it. <clears throat> and then some interesting. Well, this is another. This needs to get washed, but this is also sexy sensual cacique twenty two twenty four, and it's a cute little. I don't know if you wear this under something or just lingerie, but it was really cute. And the little like ruffles. This was interesting. I don't know how this is gonna do, honestly, but I really loved it and I couldn't leave it behind. I'm pretty sure this is vintage. This is Indigo Moon. Um, it's a size medium. It's rayon, cotton, and flax. And it has um, glass bead buttons on it. And it's got shoulder pads, but it is a really cool kind of art to wear little jacket. And those are the buttons and they're all a little different, really cool. Um, and then the back. Is also really neat. 
so I don't know I just thought it was really cool looking um they some sell really well some sell for like $50 and then some are selling for like 10 so I took I took the uh the chance with it so and then this is just American Eagle it's a size 2 and this is do I have a name I don't think it does it's just a cute little cargo skirt a uh, really short mini skirt with some distressing on it I just thought it was really cute and it would probably sell pretty quickly hopefully and then these I got to take to buy sell trade they are just Zara woman size 2 um, and they're just a black work pant um, because they're just a black work pant I'm not gonna list them myself because it's just they don't photograph well but I know that buy sell trade I've sold some to buy sell trade before and then this is one of my favorite pieces from the haul this is Marvin Richards unfortunately the size tag is cut out but it is this faux fur lined denim jacket and like by faux fur like the whole thing is lined it's really cool and um, so that will be really nice for fall and winter for somebody um, these look like they're selling for up to $60 so we'll see what happens this was another vintage item Constance Saunders US size 6 um, I just thought it was kind of cool it has toggle buttons and shoulder pads but I thought it was kind of neat. It's like a a blazery type, but it has like a little almost like a peplum, and it's short sleeved, and it's new with tags, um, dead stock. So for all those reasons, I picked it up. I just think it'd be really cool for someone. They could make it a little bit more modern with some shorts or like capris or something I don't know not for me but someone else <clears throat> this I'm not sure about either I need to do some more research and um, wash it but this is launder it's a size extra large I feel like this has something to do with Kobe Bryant it's like the Lakers colors and number 24 on a bear and then the sleeve says greatest um, and I just noticed this stain of course I don't know we'll see uh, this may just be a throwaway but I thought it was kind of interesting so <clears throat> and then of course my one kids well, I have two kids items I think actually this is Nike 4T and it's just a cute little zip up jacket really good condition so that is why I got it I think it'll go and I am gonna probably do some buy sell trade for kids at some point soon as well and then I found free people but this is interesting free people so that is why I got it and it's an extra small which I'm not super excited about but free people but it's just like and it's a little complicated it's very boho crochet top and then somehow it there's another tie that goes somewhere but um, I th or it goes like this I don't know um, I'm gonna try and find a stock photo for it and I will have put it in if I found it. 
This needs to be washed, but this is also Kasik 38F. And it's a cute little animal print bra. So hopefully that will actually go pretty quickly. This just weighed nothing and it was just really pretty. <laughs> but it's Forever 21, size medium. And it's just like a little um, short sleeve kimono wrap. Kind of like a watercolor. I just thought it was really pretty, so I got it. Nothing thrilling, probably sell for like 10 bucks. <laughs> then this was, looks, I think this is new without tags because it was on a hanger, but I didn't want to pay for the weight of the hanger, so I took it off. This is Child of Mine, made by Carter's, 18 months. And it's a cute little elephant, like onesie little thingy, gingham. So I got that. This is just copper key, but I got it because of style. It's a size large. And it's just a camo little skirt and zipper. So I just thought it was cute. This <laughs> is a pillow. It had this button. So I was like, well, maybe it's like one of those speaker pillows, but it's not. It's a massage pillow, <laughs> like for your feet or your neck or your back. So I might keep it. We'll see. <laughs> but it looks brand new. And then I found this Zara. I will put a picture in because I did find the stock photo, I think. Yeah, um, it's a size large, and it's a really cute little dress with an open sleeve ruffle, and then it ties at the wrist. Um, the sock photo is really cute. So, grab that because it looks almost brand new. This needs to be washed as well. It is missing the ties, but it is Fox, and I don't know what that says, but it's a Fox Monster Energy Drink collab hoodie, size large, and um, so it has like the Monster Energy Drink and the Fox on it, uh, really cool, and then on the back it has the little Fox, so um, Monster Stuff for some reason has a pretty good following. I do have a t-shirt right now that's kind of sitting, but I feel like um, it will sell eventually. It just may not sell for as much as I thought it was going to. This is editing Dollar Dr. Jennifer, and I forgot three items, so I'm gonna stick them in here real quick. So we have Rainbow Armadillo. <laughs> this is Gantz. Um, there's only one available on Poshmark. There's a bunch, oops, there's a bunch on eBay, but um, it looks like they might sell okay. So we're gonna try it and it was just really cute. And then I have two more plushies. Um, this is Shining Stars. It's new with tags. And this is Dragon real original but he's cute um got wings and of course he's got all the tags still attached so this one actually will probably sell pretty well on ebay um i will probably list it on both ebay and poshmark but and then this is also new with tags called nocturnals and it is dawn fox um, and there, there are quite a few of these listed, but the ones I've sold have actually sold, I mean, for what it is, sold pretty well, like $10, $15, so I'm going to try it, and he's got like a little bandana, so.
So those are the little plushies I picked up. Um, I normally don't, but I found a couple really cute ones with new tags. So back to regular scheduled thrifting haul. And then this is a junk food clothing and Torrid collab. Um, and it's new at tags. It is a Clippers t-shirt, v-neck t-shirt, Los Angeles Clippers. Um, and I just got it because it was new at tags and it was a good collab. And then this didn't weigh anything. It's just a little dog leash or a cat leash or a small pet leash. Um, I will probably sell really cheap, but it doesn't weigh very like anything. So, and then I found this Columbia fleece size extra large. And it's just a nice like black with red detailing on it just a good staple fleece for someone and then this is what is this this is airy i think yeah airy and it's a 34a and it's a really cute little bra I like the little lace detail along the bottom and it was in really good condition so I got it and I found another bathing suit never heard of this brand um, Kona Soul size small and it's just a one piece but it has cute little scalloped edges to it and um, then a little peekaboo in the back, little ruched sides, really cute bathing suit. This um, I need to wash. I'm going to possibly get use, keep it for myself, but I may sell it. We'll see. It's a little complicated. So, but it's an Australian brand, Icy Zone, extra extra large. Um, I've not heard of it before. I don't know if it will resell well if I don't keep it, but it's like a athletic shirt, but has like a built-in bra. I don't know. We'll see. It's a little complicated. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's a little weird, but I really like the purple. So well, we'll see. And then I found Bob Mackie wearable art size 2X. And it is a really cute cardigan sweater with all these different little patches. There's a cat. And then, you know, like it would be cute for like a teacher maybe or someone that just likes Bob Mackie stuff. But um, I just couldn't leave it and it's really heavy, so I it cost a good amount of money probably <clears throat> just a couple more things and then I got this um, Giordana fit for fashion um, I don't have a size it is made in Italy um, the size tag is like blank, uh, but it is just a biking shirt, like um, cycling shirt, and it has like the pockets in the back for your water and stuff, whatever else you needed. But yeah, I don't think that there's another tag, and it's like elastic along the bottom too to keep it on. Well. So, we'll see how it does. This I got based 100% on style. This is highway jeans. Size 7. 
I don't like that it's a size seven, but you know, it is what it is. But they're cute little shorts, distressed overalls um, with buttons on the side. And yeah, they're just really cute. And the, all the distressing is on purpose, like even part of the pocket is missing. So I feel like someone will grab those really quickly. And then two more things. I got another bag. Um, this is Ron John, a reusable tote bag. Uh, Ron John has a really good following. All the shirts I've gotten have sold really fast, so we'll see. I just thought it was cute. It's got like a a toucan and a parrot and like chameleon on the front, so. And it doesn't weigh anything. And lastly, which I will probably be taking to buy, sell, trade for kids, is this Polo Ralph, Ralph Lauren 4T polo shirt. Um, I'll have to see what my average cost of goods is, but it's just cute and the horse is gold. So I've almost 100% they will take this. So that is the haul that I got after my birthday, but on my way out here, um, I did do another thrifting while I was here yesterday and um, I got some stuff at Salve from Salvation Army here. So that will be a different haul. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm not sure when I'll put out possibly next Monday probably um, and I hope you guys enjoyed that um, hopefully this weather doesn't get too crazy here and I will see you next time and remember to help control the pet population and have your pets spayed or neutered. Bye guys.